Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to work with scenes using Sprite Kit with Swift and Xcode. So what I mean by working with scenes is that I'm going to show you how to transition to, to a different scene, as well as how to add a start scene into your application. So let's go ahead and get started. In this tutorial, we will add a new start scene and also a transition to the second scene. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project. This will be a game. Click next and the product name, I'm just gonna call this test or whatever you wanna call it. Language will be set to Swift. Game technology will be Sprite Kit and devices will be universal. Click next and create. Now let's make this a bit bigger and let's head right into our game view controller dot Swift. Now the game view controller, you can essentially think of this as being the manager for all your scenes. So you, and here in your main.storyboard, you can see that you have this one view controller. Now this view controller right here manages the scenes that are displayed on your application. So if you want to add something into your application, such as the start scene and whatnot, you want to create a new scene or game scene.sks. And now let's create our start scene. So let's go right up here, file, new, file, and this will be our start scene. Let's head right over to the resource and this will be our sprite kit scene like so. Click next. And we wanna save this as our start scene. You can of course call this whatever you want. It's going to be the first screen that you want to pop up. So now let's actually create a file that manages the start scene that we just created. So go file, new, file. Go up here to iOS, source, and we're gonna take in Swift file like so. And then up here, we're gonna save this as our start scene, like so. Now for some reason, it keeps building this file right out up here, so I'm gonna click and drag that right in there and say finish. Now inside of the start scene, I'm just gonna basically copy and paste whatever I have in my game scene.swift. So just go in here, copy and paste that right into start scene, like so. Change the class name, and I'm just gonna change the class name to start scene, like so. Now let's head right into our start scene.sks, go over here to the name, and I'm gonna call this my start scene then that should be everything that we need. Now let's head right into our game view controller.swift and right in here you just need to edit a few variables. So say let scene equal archiver.decode object for a key. You just basically want to change this to the start scene that we just created. And then down here on the view did load we can say if let scene equal and this will be our equal to our start scene. So just type that in. Unarchive from the file start scene. Then we're gonna say as and this will be as a start scene. So now we are adding this scene as the first thing that loads when the game is loaded. Now just so we can tell the difference, let's go into the start scene.swift and I'm just going to change the text that loads in our label to some random thing and I'm going to build and run. And now as you can see, this is the game that automatically loads. So this is the first scene that loads up. Now if you want to transition over to another scene, you need to go down here and I'm just going to do in the, the touches began, but you can really do this with any button or anything. So I'm going to go in here to my start scene.swift, go into the touches began, and I'm just going to delete everything that's inside of there. So I'm just going to say let game scene temp, so this will be a temporary game scene that we're going to be switching over to. So let game scene temp equal to game scene open parentheses, and this will be our file named game scene like so so now we have this game scene created and now we can switch over to this game scene so let's go right down here and i'm going to say self.scene.view.present scene and we're going to present the scene of our game scene temporary that we just created then down here we're going to say sk transition dot doors close with horizontal duration you can really pick whatever you want and i'm just going to make that one second now right now it's saying something that's not unwrapped so there should actually be a question mark right after scene now let's go ahead and build around this and now let's go ahead and click and now it's switched over to that other scene so it's switched right over to the game scene dot swift because of the way that we set it up. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. If you want to support the channel even further, you can head over to patreon.com slash it'll help out a ton. But anyway, I will see you in the next one.